Hello, Les from Thailand here. Today's video is going to be about motorbike scams here in Thailand. And yes, there are a few scams and I'm going to tell you all about them and what you can do to prevent these scams from happening to you if you hire a motorbike or a scooter here in Thailand. I used to run a coffee shop and I also did motorbike rentals from the coffee shop. Now, as I say, with motorbike rentals, um, there's there's many people doing it so basically on every street corner there's somebody renting motorbikes but you've got to be wary and careful about where you hire your motorbikes from now I did my motorbike rental for about two years and my motorbikes are regularly serviced all insured and road legal everything was above board with them um, they were serviced regularly, the mechanically, the brakes worked, everything was perfect with them, perfect tyres and I used to rent them out for 250 baht a day and I also offered an, an, insur an extra insurance over and above the insurance that you got for a motorbike and I'll come on to about what insurance you have on motorbikes over here when you rent one. So I offered for another 50 baht a day, so that would have made it 300 baht a day for a motorbike rental is that you were covered for accidental damage so if you dropped the motorbike or you fell off with it and scraped it any minor damage like that would be paid for for an extra 50 baht a day and for two years of motorbike rental i've got to say i never sold one policy for 50 baht a day to cover any accidental damage or scratches to the motorbike everybody just wants the motorbike as cheaply as possible in fact my motorbikes were 250 baht a day but also there was a, a motorbike rental shop just around the corner from where I was and their motorbikes were 200 baht a day so their motorbikes I've got to say weren't weren't clean they were dirty looking because they get rented out quite often tires, brakes not in very good conditions so you're putting your life into the hands of somebody who doesn't take care of the motorbikes. Now I took pride on renting my motorbikes and they were the best that you could probably get for the price that I was offering. But many people just want to think oh, nothing's going to happen to me and rent a motorbike with dangerous brakes or dangerous tyres. You're paying for the rental of the motorbike so it's your money. You inspect the motorbike, make sure it's perfect before you take it away. Because if you take it away and if you have an accident on it, then that's your fault because you should have checked it in the first place. Um, but they will try to give you the worst motorbikes to start off with. But every time I rent a motorbike or hire a motorbike from anywhere we go in Thailand, I give it a once over, take photographs of it, note down everything that's wrong with a motorbike and then they've got no comeback on to you when you bring the motorbike back and there's some scratches on it and they say that you've done that. So most motorbike companies are legit above board and okay with everything. But because of COVID, be wary when the tourist season opens up that some of these scams are going to raise their ugly head again because they want some money to come back into their pockets because of lack of tourism for all of these months. So, the scams that are around motorbike rental. The obvious one is scratches and damage done to the motorbikes is that if you take it away and come come back a week or so later, if you rent it and take it away without notifying what scratches are already on there, then they may come back at you and say, listen, you've caused the damage. And if you've got no photographic evidence with them in the photograph as well, pointing to the damage of the motorbike, then you haven't got a leg to stand on. So the police are always going to be on the motorbike renter's side as far as disputes are concerned. So just cover yourself. Make sure the motorbike is 100% before you take it away and you've noted all the damage. Um, one of the other scams, it's, it's much more rare this, but I have heard it happen, is that if you hire a motorbike in a town or a city and the motorbike gets stolen, so therefore you are liable to pay the full cost of a brand new motorbike which is about 45 to 50,000 baht now and, and if you look at the policy that you signed you're not insured from, for theft of a motorbike so if somebody steals a motorbike you have to pay for the replacement of the motorbike and again I've, I've heard it said and I've never met anybody that it happened to but again it's one of the rumours that goes around here in Thailand is that some 
unscrupulous owners have got two keys for the motorbike they know where you, you live because you have to put the address on the, the rental form and then on a night time they'll come with their spare key and take the motorbike and then you have to report that it's been stolen I don't know anybody personally that's that happened to but that's one of the other stories where I'd be tempted to do is buy a little 350 baht lock and it goes onto the disc brake of the motorbike so therefore it makes it more difficult for somebody to take the motorbike away it just protects yourself for 350 baht I think it's worth every single penny something else that most people probably don't realize that if you drive a bike around here in Thailand without a, a license then your insurance is invalid so therefore you will cop anything that has to be paid to the third parties that you run into so if you're gonna ride a motorbike make sure we have your license they're so easy to get a lot of the companies will hire the motorbike we're not even checking that you've got a license I do believe in patty now that if you rent a motorbike without a license and you get caught by the police they will impound the motorbike and to get the motorbike out it will be 2000 baht fine so I guess who's going to be paying the deposit for the motorbike in Pattaya and it's the person who's renting the motorbike they will pay a 2000 baht deposit because then the owners know that if the police stop you they'll impound the bike and it's going to cost them 2000 baht to get the bike out of the police compound so therefore you'll end up paying that and Pattaya at the minute they're stopping there all foreigners riding motorbikes and checking if they have licenses so my advice would be don't rent a motorbike unless you have a full driver's license for driving a motorbike in Thailand because the risks are too great and you'll end up paying the price if you have an accident and God forbid that anybody has an accident here in Thailand on a motorbike because that's the most deaths on the road is caused by motorbike accidents many Thai people drive around on the motorbike without any licenses, insurances and badly maintained motorbikes so it's just accidents waiting to happen and there's motorbike accidents here in Thailand every single day wear a helmet you'll see many many people not wearing a helmet when they're driving around in Thailand and that's another fine it's compulsory to wear a helmet here in Thailand but many many people don't if the police see you without a helmet that gives them cause to stop you and you'll get fined 400 baht which is about a tenner for having no helmet and if you don't have a license that's another 10 pounds or 400 baht to pay because you don't have a license so there's with two fines there's 800 baht you know, six, yeah, about 20 pounds or something like that yeah they'll let you drive away with no insurance and no license and away you go so anyway then with the scams so if you've got any comments leave them down below if you've got any questions just again ask any questions you want and i'll give you what answers i can give you so from Les, living the dream in Thailand, till the next video, bye for now.